What's up guys, it's Dungu, and this is just a VOD review I did for someone who hired me as their coach. And I just presented the video to basically the public because I think it's, because I've seen a lot of people who are genuinely like struggling to improve. And I think this video, if you, like if you actually watch the video informally, listen to what's being said, you can actually definitely improve from this video. And I'll make another video like really going in depth how to truly improve your own gameplay. All right, so you're gonna go ahead and I'm going to review your VOD here. And I did look at it a bit before, so it'll be like a first impression, but uh, basically, overall, though, I'm probably going to say a lot of just a parry issue overall because a lot of it fundamentally it does come down to just kind of how you parry overall. But again, also a bit of your playstyle overall. We're going to look at that here. So let's go ahead and just start off the fight. First, we're going to notice that this, uh, well, we don't notice it here, but they are a Silent Heart Heavy. And Silent Heart Heavy is one of the worst things in the game if they're using just like a Curse Cleave. It's a Worm Tooth that's different. But if they're in the case you're using a Curse Cleave, they have literally next to no mix up. So what you want to do is you want to play. Player, you want to play slowly, right? You don't want to play hyper aggressive because it's very, very like it's very easy to react to everything you're doing if you play if you play with your with the intent to react, right? Not the intent to predict. We'll get in that just in a bit as well. So let's go ahead and just play the video. Good that you start off with using adrenaline surge. It's good. Or should use a bit later, but. Okay, so right there is your first error. I made a video on this as well, you can check. It's uh, why you suck at the Pokemon. Not, not trying to be rude, but like I'll find a video right now for you. So like this is literally like what the title of the video is itself. So if we were to check in this video, I explained how you can always dodge many caddy. So I do highly recommend watching the video and I'm gonna explain just real quick why like the, the mistake you made here is. So right here, they did a feint and you rolled nothing. You did a roll early before any action was coming. You tried to predict your Manny Caddy. You're meant to just roll only when you actually see them cast Manny Caddy. And you do do that later in the fight, but here you just kind of use you just kind of use your roll for no reason, right? You see them faint, and you just kind of panic roll, and then you get caught. You're lucky you don't take too much damage, but that can be pretty deadly if they did get that garbage, right? So be careful with that. That's fine right there. Honestly, that's just kind of unlucky. I can't lie, that's just almost kind of unlucky. So, not really much to say. That's just kind of the hyper armor. On for hyper armor, that's fine. I think you do more damage. I see right there, it honestly, it's just parry issue, right? Like, you just use Mr. Parry, it happens. Yeah, here, like, this is just like a parry you should just get. But you didn't even, it seems like you didn't even try to parry at all. So, like, a lot of it, it can just be just parry issues. So, you really got to pay attention and I would make sure, like, you should never, like, like, you should never just be sitting there, like, taking the hit, right? If you would have missed your parry, okay, but you gotta, like, you know, like, be actively trying to, you know, parry something, right? So, it's very important. There as well, uh, you did get the hit back with the hyper armor, but if you do know they have a ne nemesis proc on, you gotta really look out for that, because they tend to, it tend to be pretty obvious when you use it, when they're at a distance away from you. They can't really use it in their face, because it's really pretty easy to roll, right? Because you're, like, you're just so attentive already, so... If you do have that Nemesis proc, you have to be really ready for that. And when they're, you know, kind of like a bit away from you, like, uh, I think it was over here. Sorry. Like when they're like right over here. Wait, hold on. Get back to it. Like they're kind of far ish. Kind of, honestly, it's kind of hard, a bit hard to see, but I mean, you need to get the M1 back, so it's not the end of the world here. But yeah. You get some more which is good. Also, I'm noticing you're not using Fake Strike at all. Fake Strike is one of the best mantras. In the entire game, because of how easy it is to get hits by it, you should, or how easy it is to get hits with it, sorry. So you should be, honestly, constantly using fake strike. Or just constantly, like, it is one of the best mantras really to get hits with, and you should be using it a lot more than you are right now. Maybe, if you don't personally like the mantra, that's fine, but I highly recommend you do start using fake strike, because, again, like I said, it is a really, really good mantra. Kind of unlucky. There you know, with the Nemesis, like, when you know they have it, you gotta be ready for that. Likely they did not guard break you, but again, when you only got the Nemesis proc, you need to be ready for that. See, there you rolled properly. I don't really feel like you, you kind of predict rolled there, but you did get that fine. Here you're honestly really lucky. I'm surprised you even got that hit, because you really sound hard to get the power over that, but... Finally, you got the hit, so it's fine. There, you miss parry, that happens. Miss parry. Okay, there again, you're... This is another instance of you rolling up. So I can go back to my video right here. Again, not trying to be rude or anything like that, but this video has a good point on like what happened or what's wrong with what you just did there. And you basically, you're panic rolling, you predict rolling. You need to be attentively rolling right there. So again, if you go ahead and just kind of play that in slow mo, just to really like kind of like show you the idea of what I'm trying to talk about, right? So you see how you rolled 
you just kind of roll too early. Maybe you just got the timing like off a bit, but when I do watch your gameplay, it does feel like you kind of just move to move, not really trying to move, like specifically avoid a specific move, right? So yeah, you just kind of rolled way too early there. Maybe you were picking the Manny Caddy, I'm not sure, but too early there, and then you got heavily, heavily punished for that, and yeah, you're taking a lot, a lot of damage right there. Again, you gotta attentively roll, attentively roll. This is fine. Here, I'd honestly, okay, it's kind of a, just kind of a small thing, but here what you can do is when you're mid Manny Caddy, so you, you see, you saw where they went for Manny Caddy right here where the shadows were, like right in this area. You can actually spit while you're pairing the Manny Caddy for a free 2% they cannot negate. Granted, they do have dead gods on you, so maybe you just would not have done anything at all, but sometimes they have like half dead, like 50% dead gods, or they have like no dead gods at all, which is pretty rare for Silent Heart, but that is the case. And you see that I have a Manny Caddy in you and you're Manny Caddy like this. Right here, you could have clicked P at any point during this, which would not have disturbed anything at all. And you would have just healed for free. Healed for free. So how I recommend you start using Spits as well to improve your gameplay. Also, Adrenaline Surge is off cooldown. So I'm going to hope use it. I'm going to hope you use it. But... Got to be lucky. Probably going to use Nemesis soon, I assume. You need to get the dodge off. That's good. That's good. Use Adrenaline Surge. That's good. Dodge it properly, that's good. That's just kind of unlucky. Okay, honestly, the ending there is just kind of really unlucky. I can't lie. That fake strike literally just kind of went through him, if I'm being honest. Like, that is honestly unlucky. But, uh, yeah, that's basically it for this fight here. You're probably looking through, like, what happened. But let's give it, like, a good TLDR of uh, what went wrong in the fight overall. Because, honestly, it, it doesn't look like you did, like, a lot of, like, big, massive mistakes. But a lot of, it's just a lot of small things that up. And one of the main things, like I said, is you just run, you're basically rolling the air. You're rolling nothing. So you got to be really attentive when you are trying to roll. So, again, that's another massive issue. Easy way to just fix or just work on that. If you're fighting light weapon, it's very, very understandable if you predict roll. But if you're fighting anything heavy related or specifically heavy silent heart, you really should not be just panic rolling or predict rolling. You got to really roll something. You got to see what you're rolling. Know the timings well. Again, if you don't know the timings because you're a bit of a new player, that's fine. I understand. But once you get the timings down and you seem to know the timings pretty well for a Manny Caddy, as I saw throughout the fight, like progress past the first point. You gotta know the time of the wall for Nemesis as well and know their kit, right? You know they have Nemesis, you know they're gonna probably try and make that distance and try and hit you with their crit as well, right? Another thing is that your mantra, you did really did not use strong left or fake strike at all. So if you're not gonna use these mantras, do not draw them through, right? This is a waste of a slot. If you're not gonna use it, all right, just get rid of it. Go get two talents, it's more worth, right? Like all the mantras I have in my toolkit, I always use, I use all the mantras in my toolkit throughout the entire fight. If you're not gonna do the same for your toolkit, then if you don't like the mantra that if you don't like strong left that's perfectly fine but if you're not going to ever use it then you should definitely be replacing it right so it's going to look to really try and use all your mantras because again strong left faint is really really good on heavy because i can't give too many comments on the offensive portion because i personally do not play heavy so i cannot tell you what faints are really good but from fighting heavy strong left faint is really good uh revenge faint is really good because really when you were comboing that your combos i should say we're just kind of just you clicking them one or you just click them one until you couldn't have money more because they got flourish or they parried the last time one right with a lot of faints you can extend that combo for a lot more time and get a lot more damage overall so you should be looking to try your best to instead of just doing three m1s maybe like two m1s at a faint it's a you know more and more than uppercut etc if you see it other high level heavy gameplay which i personally cannot really provide as i can i do not play heavy at all i just fight it hopefully you know i agree with that too till the r uh separatic rolling uh learn how to be a, a bit more offensive or better offensive i should say like kind of extend your offensive capabilities get monsters you want to actually use and use all your toolkit i'm not saying like spam and like none of your monsters should be on cooldown or off cooldown it's just what I'm, saying. I'm, I'm not saying like your monsters should always be on cooldown like just keep using it but like they should be used at least once per fight spit as well a lot make sure you do that and yeah also, you're not too much of a bad player, just a lot of fun, like just basic fundamental issues. But once you get that fixed, I think I can definitely see you improving at the game.